We're here at Potts. We're still in the Lehigh Valley. I thought I'd go ahead and check out Yoko's or Yako's. How do you say it? Yako's? I uh, did my research. I even asked around. They said Potts is the place to be. We love Yako's. <laughs> we love them. Let them know where the party is at tonight when it comes to just good old fashioned hot dogs. And I've been told you gotta drink chocolate milk. Three dogs, chocolate milk, less than $10. You cannot beat that. But let's go, very affordable, quick and easy. Get you in and out. People parking up. The way this is set up, this looks like just a regular street with a business in the middle. But let's do this. I got three hot dogs. You know, very, very petite. I got, I don't even know. I got one chili cheese. I got one sauerkraut, onions. And this is the everything. You see the everything? Let's do it. All right, since we're here, let's do the everything first. Here we go. Okay. These are grilled hot dogs. Wow, the, the, the chili on the hot dogs is really chopped up fine. I noticed that. I noticed that. When I went to JJ's in Newark, Ooh, we got onions in here too. That looks good. This is grilled. No dirty wall, uh, do dirt, no dirty water hot dog here. I'm gonna get it together. Pots, bite the one you love. <laughs> Look over there. <laughs> Fire. The toppings, good amount of uh, crunch from the onions. The chili is, is really good too. Mm. Let's see what they're talking about with this chocolate milk. I don't really drink chocolate milk nowadays, but let's try it out. Let's turn this meal into like something savory and then you get like a sip of dessert. That's what it tastes like. Everything is good. It tastes like a classic old school hot dog. But I do like the, the grilled taste off of it. They, they cook it right on the uh, the aluminum foil. So it doesn't get burnt, but you still get that like that, that grilled flavor, you know what I mean? I don't know what this one is. Yeah, oh yeah. Chili cheese. It's chili cheese, yes it is. So the cheese is actually in the middle of the dog. Alright? Very good. Alright. Try that. It's like canned cheese they put on there, like the cheese whiz. So y'all already know that flavor with the chili. It's really good. Last but not least, it's the type of hot dog I, I like when it comes to toppings. Let me show you. Ketchup, mustard, kraut, and raw onions. I need that. Got the raw onions in here. I think they're, I got the ketchup in here too. Classic. Can't hate on these dogs. That's your favorite one. I think it's because it's our toppings. You know, we got the kraut in there, the raw onions, ketchup, mustard. What are y'all go-to toppings for hot dogs? Chili and cheese is cool, but I kind of like the kraut and the onion. This is what makes a hot dog for me. Quick, affordable. Less than $10, three dogs and a chocolate milk. I don't know if I'm feeling that chocolate milk with the hot dogs. You know, I'd rather just have a soda with it or something. 
But either way, Pots, Dog, Bethlehem, old school joint, quick grab and go. I, oh yeah, the, the locals call it Potsies. I'm not a local. Yakos, this looks fancy, man. This looks like you're, uh, you know, you got some, some money here. You know what I mean? Let's check them out. I don't know what, can you give me the three popular toppings on it? Let's do that. First time here, and I'm I'm a YouTuber. I, I was at Pots earlier. I covered them, and, and uh, they they said to, you know, we recommend the chocolate milk. I, I didn't like chocolate milk on my hot dog, but you know, I might be a local thing. And you were at Pots. Was at Pots earlier today. Then I played a round of golf. I played a round of golf. Real golf. Um. Fox is different. Okay. All right, man. People here are friendly. Have you been in the Lehigh Valley a long time so far? What was that? You've been in the Lehigh Valley a while. Um, no. Um, no. Actually, my in-laws live here, but I've never vlogged here. I'm starting to. Uh, Ask around to see who got like the hidden gems, and it seems like hot dogs are a big thing here in the valley. I guess. So. Yeah. I'm I, a big hot dog person first. I used to be. I yeah. used to be, but then um, I realized when I I was in Newark, New Jersey, and I did an episode there on a food truck that sells hot dogs, and people were like raving about it. Any questions or anything? Let us know. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Kind of reminds me of like a hot dog in and out version in a way. Um, with the establishment being like uh, just more set up and the branding and the colors and the variety of food they have but it comes down to the hot dog they call themselves the hot dog king and I will let you know if it is king to me they told me to do chocolate milk I'm not doing that again can't do that they're playing journey which is always a good thing I'm gonna do their gonna do their traditional chili cheese onions. Do not ask them for kraut. They do not have kraut. And I don't know why, you know, I, I know sometimes they gotta stand on what they believe in. But come on, kraut on dogs is like, I need that. Let's go. Y'all know the drill? Hot dog episode? What's that over there? Look over there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So these dogs are bigger than pots. Good sauce. Really good sauce. Good mustard. It's good. Chili has good cumin seasoning on there. I wish a little bit more onions. I like how they keep the bread nice and like steamed for a nice softness. Hot dog is grilled, which is always a good thing. It comes down to preference. What do you like more? You like yakos or you like Potsies, you know? I just got done eating, eating Indian food. I just wanted to sample this. They don't have sauerkraut, but they do have pickles and hot peppers. And she added that for me. You see? Let's try this with the pickles and hot peppers. No kraut. Why do they do that? Pickles and hot peppers good on this, but get their standard. This one. That's more of their signature flavor that you want to try. Yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 a type of person when I eat the hot dog, I gotta have like onions that stand out. I wish the onions were a little bit more crunchy. I wish there was more of that in here. So I'm gonna tell you like this. 
Which one would I go for? Um, I do like the establishment here. Wide open, lots of seating, a good environment just to hang out with friends. Come out, very exciting. Nice artwork on the wall, nice variety. So Yaku has that over Potsies. But if you ask me when it comes down to hot dogs, which one I prefer more, probably Pots. You know, I like their, uh, they give you a crowd. Maybe that's what it is, so. <laughs> but they're both delicious in their own way. I like Yaku's for, you know, it's a bigger dog. Um, still cheap too. Three hot dogs, chili cheese, and a large soda was less than $10. Can't beat that. The people went here in the Lehigh Valley. Yakos is a good joint. Really good joint. Uh, they got pierogies. So that's one thing they have over Potsies. They got variety. But when it comes to just pure, um, if you just want hot dogs, I'd say, for me, Pots. For now. For now. Okay, there's the onions. That might had the onions in them. It comes down to toppings, man. Comes down to topping, so let me know what you think. Yakos, Potsies, who else is big in the Lehigh Valley? Let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to cover it. All right? But never ever, for me, never ever drink chocolate milk with no hot dog. Man, who does? Man, hey, y'all must be. I like the establishment. I really do. It's a hangout spot for the kids. Um, good quality hot dogs as well. I mean, it's a win-win for the people. It comes down to preference. What do you like? You know? They take card as well as cash. Just so y'all know. Pots, they take cash only. Very friendly, too. So shout out to the workers here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take a rest. I'm going to drink mad water. See you on the next episode. All right, peoples? Peace.